A spate of board appointments for state Labor mates have the opposition and minor parties crying foul. Critics say Jay Weatherall promised to scrap boards and committees, but instead he's stacking the lucrative posts with his former ministers. The state's jobless rate sits above the national average, but the opposition says the government's targeting full employment for its own Labor colleagues. It seems that there's only one group of South Australians which are exempt from this crisis, and that's former Labor government ministers. In the last three weeks alone, four former Labor figures have been newly appointed to boards. Ousted Minister Grace Portalese will chair the Multicultural Commission, which will net her almost $100,000 a year. Gracie has the credentials and the ability to actually fill that role very well. Former Treasurer Kevin Foley's two board positions will net more than 70000 Former Transport Services Minister Chloe Fox will sit on the Lifetime Support Authority, while retired MP Gay Thompson chairs the Construction Industry Training Board. Former frontbenchers Carleen Maywald and Jane Lomax-Smith have also been reappointed to their board positions. Of an epidemic of appointments of former Labor government ministers. You've got to laugh at the hypocrisy of the Liberal Party. When the Labor government has appointed former Liberal premiers to jobs and positions. Just last month, the Premier put all government boards and committees on notice that they'd effectively be dissolved unless they can justify their existence. He did say that he'd be slashing these boards, that he'd be saving taxpayers money, and what we see is the first opportunity comes by and all the Labor mates are put into these boards. We need to have some boards and committees. Tom Richardson, Nine News.